What is up my average med students? Welcome back to part 3 of our surgery shelf video. Hopefully this helps you for your CK and shelf prep. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to be notified for all future posts if you already haven't done so. If you like this content, please leave a like and share this with other average med students just like yourself. Let's get going! Fluids and electrolytes. Percent of body weight of intracellular fluid versus extracellular fluid. 40% total body weight for intracellular and 20% body weight for extracellular fluid. Percent of body weight of blood. About 7%. For example, a 70 kilogram man holds about 5 liters of blood. Normal daily loss of water from urine. 25 to 30 milliliters per kilogram. Normal daily loss of water from sweat. 200 to 400 milliliters. Normal daily loss of water from respiratory losses. 500 to 700 milliliters. Normal daily loss of water from feces. 100 to 200 milliliters. Normal daily loss of sodium and potassium. 100 milli equals. Normal daily loss of chloride. 150 milli equals. Classic acid base findings with vomiting and NG suction, on NG suction. Hypokalemic, hypochloremic, metabolic alkalosis. Hypokalemia from hydrogen buffering. Hypokalemia, hypochloremic, metabolic al alkalosis treatment. IV fluids, chloride, potassium replacement. Paradoxic, alkalotic aciduria. What is this? You see this in severe hypokalemic, hypovolemic, hypo hypochloremic, metabolic al alkalosis. And it's uh, alkalosis of the serum, acidosis of the urine. You need for volume, uh, the need for volume overrides the need for kidneys to pH balance. Vital sign changes with hypo hypovolemia. Tachycardia, tachypnea, initial rise in diastolic blood pressure because the arteries clamp down and decrease in systolic and diastolic BPs. Insensible fluid losses. What are these? Daily fluid losses that are not measured, for example, feces is about 200 milliliters, breathing, you lose about 500 to 700 milliliters, and from your skin, you lose about 300 milliliters just from evaporating out. Normal potassium range, what should this be? 3.5 to 5.0 milli equals per liter. Surgical causes of hyperkalemia. Top 6. Iatrogenic overdose, blood transfusion, renal failure, diuretics, acidosis, and tissue destruction. What are some signs and symptoms of uh, hyperkalemia, the top five signs and symptoms? Decreased uh, deep tendon reflexes, irreflexia, weakness, paresthesia, paralysis, respiratory failure, or weakness, paralysis with irreflexia, aref high extracellular potassium, uh, leading to, uh, and it's increased, and it's less negative membrane potential, closes inactivation gates, and sodium can't enter, so you will not have depolarization. Low potassium, it's uh, low depolarization. depolarization. EKG findings, top six for hyperkalemia. Peak T waves, depressed SD segment, and then Prolonged PR, wide QRS, bradycardia, and VFib. Hyperkalemia, what's the cl critical value? Greater than 6.5 milliequals per liter. How do you treat hyperkalemia? IV calcium, because it's, you have to uh, think about cardio protection. Uh, you monitor EKGs and you drive potassium intracellular with sodium bicarb, glucose, insulin, Beta-2 agonists, force exc uh, excretion with furosemide, laxatives, and sodium polystyrene, um, sulfonate dialysis. Acute treatment acronym. 
for uh, hyperkalemia. CB dial K, calcium, bicarb, dialysis, insulin, albuterol, Lasix, and K exalate. Uh, what is pseudo hyperkalemia? Spurious uh, hyperkalemia, two out of two sample hemolysis. Acid base change that will lower potassium. Alkalosis. Potassium is exchanged for intracellular hydrogen to buffer. Nebulizer treatment that will help lower uh, uh, potassium. Albuterol. Surgical causes uh, top uh, of hypo hypokalemia. So drugs, there are four of them. GI problems, that are four of them. And then uh, what's one acid-based disorder? Okay, so the drugs are diuretics, antibiotics, steroids, insulin. And then for GI causes, it could be diarrhea, intestinal fistula, NG, aspiration, vomiting. And then acid base, you already know, alkalosis causes hypokalemia. What are some signs and symptoms of hypokalemia? Weakness, tetany, nausea, vomiting, ileus, paresthesias. What are some EKG findings for hypokalemia? Flattened T waves or U waves and ST depression, PAC, PVC, and atrial fibrillation. Uh, hypokalemia rapid treatment. Uh, KCI IV. That was potassium chloride, I guess. My bad. Hypernatremia, normal range. 135 to 144, 145. So this is the normal range for sodium. I shouldn't have said hyper. This, we're in the hypernatremia section. Surgical causes of hypernatremia. Inadequate hydration, diabetes insipidus, diuresis, vomiting, diarrhea, diaphoresis, tachypnea, iatrogenic or due to total parenteral nutrition. Hypernatremia, signs and symptoms. Seizures, confusion, stupor, edema, tremors, respiratory paralysis. How do you treat hypernatremia? Quarter NS or half NS. Hypovolemic uh, hyponatremia, what are some surgical causes? Top six. Diuretic excess, hypoaldosteronism, vomiting, NG suction, burns, pancreatic diaphoresis. Uh, what causes euvolemic hyponatremia? What are the top three surgical causes? SIADH, CNS abnormalities, and drugs. Uh, what is hyponatremic hypervolemic, uh, hypervolemic hypernatremia? Hyponatremia. Renal failure, congestive heart failure, liver failure, iatrogenic fluid overload can all cause hypervolemic hyponatremia. Signs and symptoms of hyponatremia. Seizures, coma, nausea, vomiting, ileus, lethar lethargy, confusion, and weakness. Uh, hyponatremia, hypovolemic treatment. IVNS, let's correct the underlying cause. Euvolemic hyponatremia treatment. Furosemide and NS acutely, fluid restriction. Hypervolemic treatment, hypervolemic hyponatremia treatment. Dilutional and fluid restriction with diuretics. What happens if you correct sodium too quickly? Central pontine myelin, myelinolysis. So this is from going from low to high. Low to high, pons will die. Most common cause of post-op hyponatremia. Mild fluid overload. Pseudo-hyponatremia causes. Hyperglycemia, hyperlipidemia, and hyperprolact or proteinemia. What are some causes of hypercalcemia? Chimpanzees, great mnemonic, calcium supplementation, hyperparathyroidism, hy hyperthyroidism, immobility, iatrogenic, uh, you, especially with thiazide diuretics, increases calcium, uh, metastases, milk alkali syndrome, 
Paget's disease of the bone, Addison's disease, uh, acromegaly, neoplasms, Zollinger-Ellison as part of MEN1, and excessive vitamin D intoxication, and excessive vitamin A intoxication, and sarcoid's disease with the activation of 1-alpha uh, hydroxylase enzyme. Hypercalcemia, signs and symptoms. Stones, bones, groans, psychiatric overtones, and polydipsia, polyuria, and constipation. What are some EKG findings for hypercalcemia? Short QT, prolonged PR. Hypercalcemia, acute treatment. Volume expansion with NS, furosemide diuresis, not thiazides. Hypercalcemia, ways to lower calcium, top five. Lasix, steroids, calcitonin, bisphosphonates, and dialysis. How do you determine corrected calcium with hypoalbuminemia in hypocalcemic patients? So it's 4 minus measured albumin times 0.8 plus the measured calcium. Uh, surgical causes of hypocalcemia. There's three that you can't absorb, two due to drugs, and six other causes. What are these? Short bowel syndrome, intestinal bypass, vitamin D deficiency, aminoglycosides, diuretics, such as Lasix, sepsis, acute pancreatitis, osteoblastic metast metastasis, renal failure, hypomagnesemia, and rhabdomyolysis. Hypocalcemia, signs and symptoms. Schovstextrine and Trousseau sign, perioral paresthesia, increased DTRs, confusion, abdominal cramps, laryngospasm, strider, seizures, tetany, and psychiatric abnormalities. Hypocalcemia, ECG findings, two of them. Prolonged QT and possible peak T's. Uh, acute treatment for hypocalcemia. What is this? Calcium gluconate IV. What's the chronic treatment for hypocalcemia? Calcium and vitamin D uh, orally. Complication of IV calcium infusion. Tissue necrosis if infiltrates the tissue. Do not give peripherally unless absolutely necessary. Uh, what's the normal range for magnesium? 1.5 to 2.5 milliequals per liter. What are some surgical causes of hypermagnesemia? Iatrogenic, so feeds, IVs, meds, and renal failure. What are some signs and symptoms of hypermagnesemia? Loss of uh, deep tendon reflexes, respiratory distress, coma, and heart failure. What are some treatments for hypermagnesemia? Calcium gluconate IV, insulin plus glucose, dialysis, and furosemide. What are some surgical causes of hypomagnesemia? Uh, total parenteral nutrition, hypocalcemia, gastric suctioning, aminoglycosides, renal failure diarrhea, and vomiting. What are some signs and symptoms of hypomagnesemia? Increased deep tendon reflexes, tetany, asterixis, uh, tremor, Schulstex, ventricular ectopy, vertigo, tachycardia, and dysrhythmias. Uh, what's the acute treatment for hypomagnesemia? IV magnesium sulfate. Hypomagnesemia, chronic treatment, plus side effects. What are these? Mag oxide uh, by mouth and may cause diarrhea. Um, hypomagnesemia may cause difficulty correcting which other electrolyte imbalances. Hypokalemia. What are the top six causes for hyperglycemia? Diabetes, infection, stress, total parenteral nutrition drugs, and lab error. What are some signs and symptoms of hyperglycemia? Polyuria, polydipsia, confusion, coma, hypovolemia, ileus, DKA, abdominal pain, and hyporeflexia. How do you treat hyperglycemia? 
IV fluids, insulin, monitor glucose, and electrolytes. What are some surgical causes of hypoglycemia? Too much insulin, not enough cortisol, excess insulin, insulinoma, adrenal insufficiency, not enough glucose, decreased caloric intake, liver failure because uh, you don't have glycogen synthesis, and uh, gastrojejunostomy. What are some signs and symptoms of hypoglycemia? Sympathetic response, diaphoresis, tachycardia, palpitations, confusion, coma, um, headache, diplopia, neurological deficits, and seizures. Hypoglycemia treatment. Give them glucose uh, by mouth or IV. Hypophosphatemia. What's a normal or what's the normal range for phosphate? Sorry. 2.5 to 4.5 milligrams per deciliter. What's uh, the signs and symptoms of hypophosphatemia? Weakness, cardiomyopathy, neurological dysfunction, rhabdomyolysis, um, hemolysis, poor pressure response. Hypophosphatemia, what are the causes? GI losses, inadequate supplementation, meds, sepsis, alcohol abuse, and renal loss. What's the critical value for um, uh, phosphate being low? Anything less than one milligram per deciliter. Hypophosphatemia, how do you treat this? Supplemental with, supplement with uh, sodium phosphate uh, by mouth or uh, potassium phosphate through IV. <clears throat> um, signs and symptoms of hyperphosphatemia. Calcifications. Uh, it could be ectopic or you can also have heart block. Uh, top five causes of hyperphosphatemia. Renal failure, sepsis, chemotherapy, hyperthyroidism, removal of parathyroid gland. Hyperphosphatemia treatment. Uh, AIOH binds phosphate. Hyperkalemia, what happens if not treated? VTAC, FIB, and leads to death. Electrolytes, which is an inotrope? Calcium. Major cardiac electrolytes, top three. Potassium, uh, which can cause dysrhythmias. Magnesium can also cause dysrhythmias. Calcium is an inotrope drug or inotropic electrolyte and it can also cause dysrhythmias. Which uh, electrolyte do you monitor daily in patients on digitalis? Potassium. What's the most common cause of ileus? Hypokalemia. What is a colloid fluid? Protein containing albumin. Rationale of albumin for SMIDE sandwich. Albumin pulls interstitial fluid, intravascular, um, and furosemide excretes it. Elderly patient goes into CA, CA uh, congestive heart failure three days, status post laparotomy. Why? Third spaced fluid mobilizes intravascularly and overloads. Fluid to replace NG tube aspirate. D5. FNS with 20 milliequals of potassium chloride, not lactate ringer because all, they're already losing acid. You don't need uh, to make them more alkalotic. Electrolyte imbalance associated with succinylcholine. Hyperkalemia, succinate, succinylcholine makes everything depolarized. So sodium goes into the cell and potassium goes out. Post-op fever temperature. 101.5. Five W's of post op fever. Wind it can cause atelectasis. Uh, thus, you remember atelectasis. Water, UTI, wound, walking. Uh, lack of walking can cause DVTs and thrombophlebitis. Wonder drugs, drug fever. Classic timings of fever causes atelectasis 24 to 48 hours. Classic timings for fever causes of UTI. Causing UTI. 
Anytime POD number three. Classic timings of fever causes wound infection. Anytime POD number five. Classic timings of fever causes uh, DVT, PE, thrombophlebitis. Uh, post up day number 7 to 10. Classic timings of fever causes drug fever. Anytime. Classic timings of fever causes intraabdominal abscess. Uh, over 7 days. Classic timings of fever causes pneumonia. Uh, Post-op day 5 to 6. Classic timings of fever causes simple cellulitis. Uh, Post-op day 5 to 6. Classic timings of fever causes lymphangitis. Post-op day 5 to 6. Classic timings of fever causes wound de dehiscence. Uh, Post-op day 7 through 10. Complete fever workup includes physical exam, chest x-ray, urine analysis, blood cultures, and CBC. What are some top four causes of fever before 24 hours post-op? Atelectasis, beta hemolytic strep, uh, C perfringens, and anastomotic, uh, anastomotic leaks. Causes from uh, uh, post-op day 3 to 5, the top four. Causes of fever, UTI, pneumonia, line infection, and wound infection. Uh, what's a ca cause of intraoperative fever? Malignant hyperthermia. You treat it with dantrolene. How do you protect bowel from infection during colon surgery? Uh, bowel prep. You can give uh, antibiotics oral, uh, neomycin, erythromycin, and pre-op. IV antibiotics like cefoxetine or cefotetin. How to protect from OPSS after splenectomy? Immunize against H flu, uh, streptococcus, meningococcus, penicillin when illness or fever occurs. Which uh, patients to give prophylaxis from endocarditis? The inpatients with faulty heart valve, mechanical valve, antibiotics prior to dental procedure or any surgery. Uh, protection from alcohol withdrawal. How do you do this? Benzo and banana bag. Treatment to protect uh, Wernicke's encephalopathy. Banana bag, which contains thymine, folate, and magnesium. Decreased risk of perioperative adrenal crisis in patient on chronic steroids. Stress dose steroids, hydroxycortisone, 100 milligrams pre-op, and uh, continue uh, post-op uh, every 8 hours and taper it. Hemorrhage uh, classes, uh, blood loss percentage for, uh, that classifies um, patients having hemorrhage. 15, 30... 40 and greater than 40 percent um, bp changes during hemorrhage normal decreased pressure pulse pressure decreased systolic markedly decreased systolic bp in a sequence uh, heart rate changes during hemorrhage no change first then you have slight uh, tachycardia then uh, you have tachycardia over 120 beats per minute. Then you have over 140 beats per minute. A respiratory rate changes in the hemorrhage. First, initially you have no change. Then you have mild increase. Then over 30. Then over 35 breaths per minute. Mental status change during hemorrhage. No change uh, for the first uh, two classes. Then you see confusion. And in the last stage you see confused. Confusion and uh, they're lethargic. What's the urine output like during hemorrhage? Uh, it's gone at class four. You have zero urine output because your body's trying to re reabsorb all the water. What's the most common age group for gastric ulcers? 40 to 70 year olds. 
uh, uh, which are more common, gastric or duodenal ulcer? Duodenal ulcer by two times. Classic pain response to food, which ulcer is this? Increased with food, with gastric ulcer. Um, gastric ulcer, what's a cause? Decreased protection or loss of mucosa? Acid production, uh, gastric ulcers. Normal or low, and you have neg uh, due to negative feedback. Uh, ulcers associated with increased gastric acid. Uh, Pre-pyloric, pyloric, coexistent with duodenal ulcers. What are some symptoms of gastric ulcers? Epigastric pain, plus or minus nausea vomiting, anorexia, and nausea. How do you diagnose gastric ulcers? Uh, history, physical exam, endoscopy with biopsy, looking for cancer. What's the most common location for gastric ulcers? 70% at lesser curvature and 5% on greater curvature. Why should biopsy be performed for gastric ulcers? You must rule out uh, gastric cancer if medication uh, treatment doesn't work. Rebiopsy in six weeks. What's the medical treatment for gastric ulcers? PPIs or H2 blockers? When do patients need to have endoscopy? Uh, for diagnosing via biopsy, six weeks post-diagnosis uh, to check for healing uh, to rule out gastric cancer. What are some indications for surgery in gastric ulcers? Eye chop, intractability, cancer, hemorrhage, massive, relentless, um, massive or relentless, obstruction uh, due to gastric outlet, uh, obstruction and then perforation. If you can't rule out gastric cancer, you must uh, consider surgery. Gastric ulcer common um, uh, common operation for hemorrhage, obstruction and perforation in gastric ulcers. Distal gastrectomy with excision of ulcer. Uh, options for surgery if duodenal and gastric ulcers exist. Uh, Bill Roth 1 and 2 with truncal vagotomy. Cushing's ulcer. What is this? It's a, it's a pelvic ulcer disease um, get with gastritis associated with neurological trauma. Curling's ulcer. What is this? Uh, PUD, gastritis associated with a burn. Marginal ulcer. What is this? Ulcer at the margin of the GI anastomosis. Du Lafoy uh, ulcer. What is this? Pinpoint gastric bleed from underlying vascular malformation. Stomach cells produce parietal cells. Or stomach cells products um, uh, parietal cells. Uh, hydrochloric acid and intrinsic factor. Stomach cells and products of chief cells. Pepsinogen. Stomach cells and products of G cells. Gastrin. G cells are found at the antrum. Stomach cells and products of mucus neck cells. Bicarb mucus. What is pepsin? Uh, proteolytic enzyme hydrolysis peptide bonds. Stomach cells and products uh, intrinsic factor. Uh, secreted by the parietal cells, it binds B12 and enables absorption at the terminal ileum. Three receptors that stimulate hydrogen release. Histamine, uh, acetylcholine from the vagus, and uh, gastrin. What is enterohepatic circulation? Circulation of bile acids from the liver to gut and back via the portal vein. Where is bile absorbed? Terminal ileum. Stimulators of the gallbladder emptying. Cholecystokinin and vagal input. Inhibitors of gallbladder emptying. Top three. Somatostatin, sympathetics, and VIP. 
Cholecystokinin, where is the source from? Duodenal mucosal cells. Cholecystokinin, what stimulates its release? Fat, protein, um, amino acids, and hydrochloric acid. Cholecystokinin, what inhibits its release? Trypsin and chymotrypsin, pancreatic enzymes. Cholecystokinin, what does it do? Top four things. It empties the gallbladder, opens the ampulla of water, slows gastric emptying, and uh, stimulates pancreatic acinar cell growth with enzyme release. Uh, secretin, what's the source? Duodenal cells. Secretin, release uh, simulated by what two things? pH under 4.5, so st basically stomach acid, and fat in the duodenum. Secretin, release is inhibited by high pH in the duodenum. Secretin actions, top four. Release of pancreatic bicarb enzymes, water, release bile bicarb from gallbladder, decrease the lower esophageal sphincter tone, and decrease release of gastric acid. Gastrin, what's the source? Gastric antrum, G cells. Gastrin release is stimulated by what three things? Stomach peptides, amino acids, vagal input, and calcium. Gastrin release is inhibited by what two things? pH under 3.0 and stomatostatin. Gastrin actions, what are the two things it does? Releases hydrochloric acid from parietal cells, tro has a trophic effect on gastric and small intestine mucosa. Somatostatin, what's the source? Pancreatic D cells. Somatostatin is released and stimulated by, or its release is stimulated by what? Food. Somatostatin actions. Global inhibition of GI function. What's the purpose of the colon? To reabsorb water and store stool. Main nutrition source from the small bowel or for the small bowel. Glutamine. Number one hormone of gallbladder control. Cholecystokinin. Supplement to add after removal of terminal ileum or the stomach. B12 vitamin. What's in bile? What five things are in there? Water, phospholipids, bile acids, cholesterol, and bilirubin. What are the most uh, What are most gallstones made of? Cholesterol. Opiates effects on the bowel. Uh, increase sodium absorption and decrease motility. Muscle types of the esophagus. Uh, top one third is striated, and this is for motor control. And the mid one third is mixed. Lower one-third is smooth muscle, and it's mostly for vagal control. Electrolytes absorbed by the colon. What are these? Sodium and uh, chloride. Needs them to absorb water. Colon electrolytes secreted. Potassium along with bicarb. Uh, blood supply to the liver. 75% from the portal vein. Uh, for, and this is for food and from food from digestion and 25% from the hepatic artery for O2. Pa what are payers patches? Nodules of lymphoid tissue and small bowel sample luminal antigens. Immunocell types in payer patches. B and T cells. Uh, diverticulosis. What are the two types defined as? False diverticula, which is mucosa, submucosa, herniate. That's the most common. And a true diverticulum is all three layers from the diverticula. And it's rare except in right-sided right diverticulitis. Diverticulosis. What's the pathophysiology? A weakness in the bowel wall at points of blood vessel entrance. Diverticulosis. What's the incidence? 50% in U.S., only 10% are symptomatic. Diverticulosis, what's the most common site? Sigmoid colon, about 95% of the time. Diverticulitis, risk factors. 
low fiber diets, chronic constipation, and family history and age. Diverticulosis, symptoms and complications. Bleeding. Diverticulosis, diagnosis uh, approach, diagnostic approach if bleeding without inflammation. You do a colonoscopy. Diverticulosis, uh, what's the diagnostic approach if they're bleeding with inflammation? Abdominal or pelvic CT, you must wait until inflammation resolves for barium enema or colonoscopy. Diverticulosis, what's the treatment? High fiber diet, and this is osis, just the condition of having a diverticula. Diverticulosis, indications to operate. Complications uh, such as abscess, fistula for obstruction, strictures, recurrent episodes, prolonged symptoms, hemorrhage, uh, suspected carcinoma. Diverticulitis is defined as infection or perforation of the diverticuli. Uh, what's the pathophysiology of diverticulitis? Obstruction by a fecal lit uh, inf causing inflammation and perforation. Uh, signs and symptoms of diverticulitis. What are the seven signs and symptoms? Uh, two out of two, local inflammation, left lower quadrant pain, change in bowel habits, dysuria, left, quad left lower quadrant mass sometimes, two out of two, systemic infection, nausea, vomiting, fever, chills, anorexia. Diverticulitis associated lab findings. Increased WBCs. Diverticulitis x-ray findings. Four of them. Ileus, partially obstructed colon, air fluid levels, free air if uh, perforated. Diverticulitis CT findings. Swollen edematous bowel wall, especially helpful in uh, diagnosing abscesses. Diverticulitis tests that you should not be doing. Uh, barium enema or colonoscopy uh, to prevent the risk of perforation. Uh, what are the top four complications of diverticulitis? Abscess, peritonitis, fistula, obstruction. Diverticulitis, what's the best test? CT scan. Diverticulitis, initial therapy for uncomplicated cases. Uh, IV fluids, nothing by mouth, and uh, broad spectrum antibiotics coverage, and NG suction if needed. Diverticulitis indications for surgery. Obstruction, fistula, free perforation, abscess that can't be drained percutaneously, and sepsis uh, and uh, deterioration on antibiotics. Diverticulitis, risk of reoccurrence. Uh, after the first episode, it goes up by 33%, and after the second ep episode, it goes, the risk goes up by 50%. Diverticulitis indications for elective resection. Two of them. Uh, two or more episodes, first episode in a uh, young diabetic or immunocompromised patient. Diverticulitis, usual elective surgery. First stage, resect, uh, involved, this, uh, involved segment and primary anastomosis. Diverticulitis surgery for acute case with complication. Hartman's, uh, you resect the involved section and leave the colostomy and stapled rectal stump. This requires re later. Diverticulitis treatment of diverticular abscess. Percutaneous drainage. If you can't reach it, then you do surgical drainage uh, with IV antibiotics and bowel rest. Diverticulitis. How common uh, is it to bleed? Uh, it's very rare and the bleed uh, more likely with uh, diverticulosis. Diverticulitis, what must be ruled out? Colon cancer. How do you define a hernia? A peritoneal sac that protrudes through the uh, musculoponeurotic um, layer. Why, do you re why should you repair hernia? Uh, to avoid complications such as incarceration, strangulation, bowel necrosis, small bowel obstruction, and pain. Which is more da dangerous uh, defect, a small or a large hernia? A small hernia because a tight defect is more likely to incarcerate. What does incarcerated hernia mean? 
It's a swollen fixed uh, within the hernial sac and may lead to obstruction. Uh, what is a strangulated hernia? It's incarcerated with resulting ischemia and signs and symptoms of ischemia, obstruction, bowel necrosis. What are complete hernias? Hernia sac and contents protrude through the defect. What are incomplete hernias? Defect pres present without sac or contents inside. Uh, what's a sliding hernia? Hernia sac per partially formed by the wall of viscous ex uh, bladder extrophy or, or a cecum. What is a litter's hernia? Ha involving, uh, it's a hernia involving the Meckel's diverticulum. What is a spigelian hernia? Hernia through the linea semilunaria, aka the spontaneous ventral hernia. What's an internal hernia? Hernia into or involving intra-abdominal structure. What's an obturator hernia? Hernia through obturator canal, most commonly in females. What's a pantaloon hernia? Uh, so sac exists as di both direct and indirect, straddles inferior epigastric vessels, protrudes through floor of the inguinal canal and through the ring. Incisional hernia. Hernia through incisional site, number one cause of wound infection. Ventral hernia. Uh, incisional hernia with ventral abdominal wall. Peristomal, peristomal hernia. Hernia adjacent to an ostomy. What's a sciatic hernia? Hernia through sciatic foramen. Richter's hernia. Incarcerated or strangulated hernia involves only one side of the bowel. It may spontaneously reduce, uh, leading to necrosis and uh, uh, perforation without obstruction. What's an epigastric hernia? Hernia through the linea alba above the umbilicus. Uh, what's an umbilical hernia? Hernia through umbilical ring associated with ascites, pregnancy, and obesity. What's an intraparietal uh, hernia? A hernia in which abdominal contents migrate between layers of abdominal wall. What's a femoral hernia? Hernia medial to the femoral vessels under inguinal ligament. What's Hasselbeck's hernia? Uh, it's a hernia under the inguinal ligament lateral to the femoral vessels. What's a uh, Bokdelix hernia? Through the posterior diaphragm, usually on the left. Bok de lef, Bok de lec, back to left. <laughs> What's a Morgang Morgagni's hernia? Anterior peris peristernal diaphragmatic hernia. Uh, indirect inguinal hernias. Inguinal hernia lateral to Hasselbeck's triangle. Direct inguinal hernia. Inguinal her uh, with Hasselbeck's triangle within the Hasselbeck's triangle. What's a hiatal hernia? Hernia through esophageal hiatus. What's a uh, Emian's hernia? Hernia sac contains ruptured append appendix. Floor of Hasselbeck's triangle. What makes up the floor of Hasselbeck's triangle? Internal oblique transversus abdominis. Uh, the rectus sheath components above the arcuate line. What are they? Anteriorly, you have the external oblique, ante uh, anterior ap aponeurosis of the internal oblique, and posteriorly, you have the posterior aponeurosis of the internal oblique and transversalis fascia. Rectus sheath components below the arcuate line. Anteriorly, um, you have external oblique, all of the internal oblique, and posteriorly, you have the transversalis fascia. Direct inguinal hernia is defined as... Hernia within the floor of the Hasselbeck's triangle um, does directly go through the abdominal wall. Direct inguinal hernia, what causes this? 
It's acquired defect, two out of two mechanical breakdown. Uh, direct inguinal hernia, nerve running with spermatic cord in the canal. Ilio inguinal. Indirect hernia, uh, what's the patho pathophysiology? Internal ring, oh, there's the path, sorry. The path is internal ring to ing inguinal canal to external ring to scrotum. Indirect inguinal hernia, what causes this? Patent processes vaginalis. Indirect inguinal hernia, what's the incidence? 5% of all men and 1% of hernia in men and women. Indirect inguinal hernia, how do you diagnose this? Uh, a history and presentation, finger into the inguinal canal, and uh, palpation of uh, the hernia. Strangulation risk versus hernia type. Femoral uh, is the most, and then uh, indirect, and then direct for strangulation. Indirect inguinal hernia, how do you treat this? Uh, if there is strangulation and incarceration suspected, then you do emergent surgery. If not, then you do elective surgery. Uh, inguinal hernia repairs, what's bassini? Uh, sutures approximate reflection of inguinal ligament to transversus abdominis. Inguinal hernia repair McVeigh. Cooper's ligament sutured to abdominis aponeurosis, tension free. Inguinal hernia repair uh, Licht, Lichtenstein. Tension free repair using the mesh. Inguinal hernia, hernia repair Scholdes. Uh, imbrication of floor of inguinal her canal. Inguinal hernia repair high ligation. It's only in children and ligation transection of indirect sac without repair of inguinal floor. Inguinal hernia repair, what is TAPP? Transabdominal preperitoneal inguinal hernia repair. Inguinal hernia repair, TEPA, what is this? Totally extraperitoneal approach. Inguinal hernia repair indications for laparoscopic repair. Uh, bilateral inguinal hernias, recurring hernia, need to resume full activity as soon as possible. First dable subcutaneous layer. Uh, scarpus fascia. Uh, and more CT, uh, less fat. More connective tissue. Inguinal uh, hernia, what's the name of the subcutaneous vein that's ligated? Superficial epigastric vein. Uh, what if you cut the ilioinguinal vein, nerve during inguinal hernia repair? Then you have numbness of the inner thigh and lateral scrotum. This will resolve within six months. Uh, where does the cremester muscle come from? Internal oblique. What muscle uh, inguinal ligament uh, is derived from? External oblique aponeurosis. Where does the inguinal ligament attach? Anterior superior iliac spine, pubic uh, tubercle. Inguinal hernia repair, um, nerve that travels in the spermatic cord. Ilioinguinal nerve, did this. Uh, spermatic cord contents, what are the six things? So you have the cremasteric muscle fibers, vas deferens, testicular artery, testicular pempiniform venous plexus, uh, pa uh, pause her hernial sac and genital branch of the genitofemoral nerve. Inguinal hernia repair. Uh, what is the hernial sac made of? Peritoneum or a patent processus vaginalis. What's the most common organ in hernial sac in men? Small bowel. What's the most common organ in the hernial sac in women? Ovary, ovary, fallopian tube, hernias. What lies inside the inguinal canal in women? Round ligament. Where in the inguinal canal does the sac lie in relation to other structures? Uh, anteromedially. What is a cord lipoma? It's a preperitoneal fat on the cord structures has been pushed uh, into a cord by hernial sac.
small outpouching of testicular tissue of the testicle. What is this? It's a testicular appendage and you remove with electrocauterization. What do you do if uh, you pierce the femoral artery vein with a suture? You remove the suture and apply pressure. Uh, what type of hernia goes through the Hasselbeck's triangle? Uh, direct hernia, two out of two, weak abdominal floor. Uh, what is a relaxing incision? Uh, you incise the re rectus sheath, and this allows the conjoint tendon to relax and be reflected to inguinal ligament without tension. Uh, what is the conjoint tendon? Aponeurotic attachments of internal oblique and transversus abdominis to the pu pubic tubercle. Uh, percentage of strength of to ilio or inguinal floor provided by external oblique aponeurosis. Zero. What is a femoral hernia defined as? Hernia travels under inguinal ligament uh, down the femoral canal. Where in a femoral canal do you find the femoral hernia? Uh, medial to the vessels in E of navel. Boundaries of the femoral canal. What are they? Uh, anteriorly, you have the inguinal ligament. Posterior, you have the Cooper's ligament. Laterally, you have the femoral vein. And medially, you have the lacunar ligament. What are some risk factors for femoral hernia hernias? Pregnancy, uh, being female, and ex ex exertion. What are some complications of uh, femoral hernia? Uh, one out of three incarceration, um, one third, uh, and then most likely uh, to incarcerate. Femoral hernia repair. Uh, McVeigh and mesh plug. Which type of esophageal is uh, associated with uh, reflux esophageal hernia? Sliding esophageal hiatal hernia. How do you treat incarcerated hernia in the ER? Uh, ice, sedation, trendelenburg position, uh, manual pressure, admit, observe for signs of necrosis, and surgical hernia, hernia raffi as soon as possible. What are the two types of esophageal hiatal hernias? There's paraesophageal and sliding. Paraesophageal hiatal hernia is defined as all or part of the stomach that herniates through the esophageal hiatus, but um, gastroesophageal junction stays in proper place, as also known as type 2. Paraesophageal hiatal hernia symptoms. 2 out of 2 mechanical obstruction, dysphagia, stasis ulcers, strangulation, no GERD, and GE junction is still in the right place. Paraesophageal hiatal hernia complications. A hemorrhage, incarceration, obstruction, and strangulation. Paraesophageal hiatal hernia, what's the treatment? Uh, surgical, 2 out of 2, frequency, and severity of complications. Sliding esophageal hiatal hernia is defined as uh, stomach and GE junction herniates uh, into the thorax via esophageal hiatus, also known as type 1. Sliding esophageal hiatal hernia, what are the symptoms? Uh, reflux. You have uh, dysphagia, esophagitis, pulmonary problems, 2 out of 2 aspiration. Sliding esophageal her hiatal hernia, how do you diagnose this? Uh, UG, upper GI series, menometry, uh, uh, EGD with biopsy. Sliding esophageal hiatal hernia, what are the complications? Reflux, esophagitis, Barrett's cancer, strictures, aspiration pneumonia. Sliding esophageal her hiatal hernia, what's the treatment? 85% medically with antacids, PPIs, uh, and other stuff. Sliding esophageal hiatal hernia, indications for surgery. Persistent symptoms despite medical treatment. Sliding esophageal hiatal hernia, what's the surgical treatment? Laparoscopic Nissen fund application. All right, guys, that about wraps it up. Thank you for watching, and if you like this video, please share. Today we completed about 289 cards. It's not bad. 
and uh, stay tuned for part four of surgery video. You don't want to miss out. And I really hope this is helping you. If you have any comments or suggestions or even any corrections to uh, any wrong information that I may have presented, please go ahead and leave a comment down in the comment section below. And uh, have a great day, guys. Bye-bye. Frustrations, chest pain, sensations, I know. Try to isolate, try to cyberspace.